What's up everybody? We are on our way to go check out a property. We've had a major issue. We got this property on the market right now. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to deal with issues from the city. And sometimes you're just forced to go meet with these guys in person. We have some sort of a water issue where the meter is installed incorrectly according to them. And so rather than talk to like 19 different people about the same issue, the best way is to go nip it in the bud and talk to these guys right now. And if you're trying to become financially free, and you're watching me right now, and you're like, well, what the hell does this guy know? I'm a knucklehead, got a 1.8 GPA in high school, but I know how to make money in real estate. And there's a lot of different ways you can make money in real estate. You can make money by wholesaling. You can make money by flipping real estate. You can make money by owning long-term rentals. You make money by doing Airbnb arbitrage. You can make money through tax credits. And if you're investing in the stock market right now, the only thing you can do in the stock market is hope it goes up in value and time the market appropriately and then sell that asset, right? So even though this has been a total hassle to try to solve this situation here, let's go through the numbers real quick. Well, I paid like 30 grand for the property. We put $35,000 in it plus material. I think I'm in this thing for about a 90,000 bucks total. We've got it on the market for about $160,000 right now and we've had offers so let's say worst case scenario i sell it for one hundred forty thousand dollars. that's probably what i'd be willing to go down to maybe i'll sell it for a little bit less if i don't i've got a rental that i'll probably get 900 bucks a month on that's a 10 percent return on investment There's a lot of different tax strategies with that property. Property's on good acreage, and it's something that uh, we get excited about doing. We are headed to the property, and we'll check in when we get there. This whole thing has to be raised up to the ground level. Okay. So you're talking about this whole meter? Yeah, meter well. And then the meter will need to be rose, because once that gets raised up, you know, we won't be able to get down in there and reach the meter. So uh, you can buy a thing, it's called a meter riser. Basically, it just looks like a, an eight. Well, what did this thing? This is, when I called and asked them for a meter well riser, that's what they sold me. I think this one might be a little bit big for what you need. I mean, you're on the right track, um, but basically that rim has to be dug out. This goes in the ground and that rim goes on top of that. Okay, so essentially- This, this rim is, you know, so, that, that tall. So. so we need to have a 12 inch one that goes all this, the way down to that thing? This might work. You have to you have to dig it out and, and see. You, um, this might be the right one. You might have to get one a little bit smaller. But this rim, you know, it, it sticks out about this far. It, it just sits on that concrete, and you can just dig out around it, about four inches deep. Pick that rim up, set it off to the side, put this down with the concrete, then put that rim on top of this. I'm still kind of confused on what to do here. Talk to me like I'm 12 years old, I guess. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, so that's the rim. The, the metal piece right there that I just took the lid off. Underneath of it, yep. Yeah, you need to take this plastic piece back out. Okay. Set it off the side. Then dig out basically where you've got your mulch or whatever here. Dig okay. all this out down till you get to the concrete. Okay. Then you can just pick that rim up, set it off to the side. Okay. All right, then take your plastic piece, set it down on the concrete where the rim's at right now. Then take your rim, set it on top of plastic so that the rim is at ground level. So uh, they just didn't dig down, they set this on top. Set it on top. Now this one might fit, it might be a little bit too big. You may have to get a smaller diameter. You'll have to switch them around and see. I can't uh, tell you for sure. Um, What's the best way to check? Uh, well, you'll dig it all out and you'll try to set the rim on top of that. If it falls in, it's too big. So they need to dig around this whole thing is right. what you're saying. Down to the concrete, take all of it out. And this, and this, and this rim goes around the concrete. Yeah, it should, you know. So it acts like a coupling on, 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 around the concrete is that correct yeah basically it's it's what you've done except you've got the wrong the, way yeah, I, yeah right. we're on top versus around right, right. okay i got yeah. it and then once you do that especially maybe with my wide shoulders and short arms i'm not going to be able to get down in there and change that water meter is going to be too low so they make a thing called a meter riser that's going to have to be installed which will raise the meter up closer to so the then we got to raise this thing the meter yeah where do you get that at uh this is called the meter well is that what yeah, this whole thing is called the meter well. Right. But basically, it's you know you're you're on the right path. You just have it backwards. Hopefully that one works. If it doesn't, um, you may have to. If you can't find one, unfortunately, the next step is dig the whole damn rim out and replace the whole thing instead of trying to piece it together. How the hell did they get water on before here? Uh, you know, no telling how long it's been like this. Someone, I'm sure it wasn't it wasn't buried when they put it in. You know. Meter riser. We're trying to be plumbers, dude. It's not all the fun is cra it's cracked up to be. No, hell no. So it needs to be about 16 to, 14 okay. to 16 inches from the, the rim, from the lid. So you'll need about a, probably. Okay, because you're measuring from here. Yeah, right. But that's coming around it, right? That's going down further, right? Yeah. So if that goes down, then you're measuring from the top of that, right? If that goes down and then you set your rim on top of that, because right now the rim is 
at that ground level, which this is sitting on. So once you switch them around, it'll still be the same. You can probably if you do. Have a block on the bottom and the block on the top, and then you take the top block and put it on the bottom. It should be the same height. Okay. Ever, you know, you're talking about handing this off to. Right. They can give us a call if they got questions. No, we've just been having the guy who's not the plumber do it. Ah, <laughs> gotcha. How long you been with Independence? Uh, New Year's Eve will be nine years. Holy. Shit. Okay, so swap those around. Hopefully okay. they work. Okay. Get the meter riders, throw them All in right. there, and you'll be good. Okay. All right. Appreciate your help, man. No problem. Thanks for waiting. Yeah, yeah. No, no big deal. I just thought it'd be easier to talk to you face to face than yeah. get It always is, hand. man. It always is. Because if I would, if you wouldn't explain it that way, I wouldn't have known with right. that. Right. Awesome. Yeah, it looks like they just threw dirt around here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're, you know, they're, <laughs> that's exactly what it looks like. We're on the right path, they just got it backwards. So okay. hopefully we can switch it around and that's it. All right. Throw that riser in there and call it good. Awesome. All right. Cool. All right, thanks, man. Appreciate it. So that's one of the reasons that you always want to meet with the city officials to figure out, like, if your guy's screwing you around or what the hell is going on. Like, is your dude really telling you the truth or is he just does not know what the hell he's talking about? It's, it's definitely confusing. I can understand how Mario got confused. Uh, we can unload this video on him. It's great to meet with the city, see what's what, record it. That way we don't have any issues. We know exactly what he said. Lee's a nice guy. City of Independence is willing to meet us. I guarantee that wouldn't happen in Las Vegas. I don't know if that happened in Dallas, Fort Worth. People in Missouri are super nice. The more steps you go through and you're learning how to solve the problem, it's like, I always explain it like this. If you drive the wrong directions to get somewhere, it's always hard to get back to that place because you don't remember how you got there because you drove the wrong way. So now we're confused about the right way to do something because we've driven the wrong way, AKA Mario has been not doing it the right way. And Ross has been screwing it up too. No, I'm just messing. Instead of doing all that, we go and meet with the source, find out the answer. And so Lee was kind enough to meet us out at the property. Now we know what we got to do to get the next step, which is call Pat the plumber, get a quick little quote from him, say, hey, here's what needs to happen here. He probably could knock that thing out in a New York minute. Hopefully he'll charge us a few hundred bucks for that and get that thing handled first. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you follow, make sure you share. If you're a plumber, tell me what the heck you guys need a meter riser for. Why do we always gotta do this work for the city? If you're in blue collar, if you're working right now, and you're trying to get you know started, you're like, Troy, you're an idiot with plumbing. You're right, but I do know how to buy properties the right way. And that's the most important thing because if you're a contractor, if you're in the trades and uh, you're looking to make more money than you're currently making right now, we got a free Facebook group. You can check it out. We've got. Lots of free material on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, all of that jazz. Plus, if you are ready to get started investing in real estate, we offer coaching where we actually teach my skill set, which is buying discounted properties, properties with no interest rates, properties that you can buy for next to nothing where you can make money on. A lot of our guys are making $100,000 on their first property. The coaching is just so cheap comparatively to what they're making that it makes so much sense. Check out the next one. Peace. <laughs>